Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to welcome you all to today's discussion on a topic that has become increasingly relevant in recent years, and that is, will ASEAN and of course Malaysia be torn or prosper from the US-China geopolitical contest? Great honor uh, to be invited to deliver the Tinku Abdul Rahman lecture. One of the great privileges of my life is that I've had a chance to meet and shake hands uh, with many uh, world leaders, you know, Nelson Mandela, Kofi Annan. But one of the greatest regrets of my life is that I never got to shake hands with Tinku Abdul Rahman. Because I actually believe that he was one of the greatest leaders that South East Asia has produced. And indeed, as you all know, by any kind of international global rankings, Malaysia is one of the most successful countries uh, on planet Earth. And I suspect that when the full assessments are done, a lot of the credit will be given to Tunggu Abdul Rahman for the brilliant start that he gave uh, to this country. So why don't we begin by acknowledging him, by giving him a round of applause to Tunggu Abdul Rahman. That my advice would be no ASEAN country, including Malaysia or Singapore or others, should take sides uh, in this contest. Because unfortunately, one lesson of history, uh, which is actually very powerful, is that when a small country allies with a great power, the great power will be nice to you as long as the interests are aligned. But if one day the interests are not aligned, the, the, the small country will be dropped, okay? So in, in his introduction, uh, Tantri Magad said, you know, when elephants fight, the grass suffers. But actually, when elephants make love, the grass also suffers. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes they make... <laughs>